right guys, how's it going? I'm really happy to be bringing you this comparison video. It's not exactly comparing apples to apples. It certainly is almost like comparing apples to oranges, but both of these things essentially serve the exact same purpose. These things are meant to be uh, placed in a vise, tightened down, and it will interface with either the upper or lower receiver, or in the BevBlocks case, it interfaces with both. So, um, I mean, to, to put this short, I think they're both excellent tools and, and they both have a place in any armor's uh, arsenal of tools or any DIYer would certainly benefit from having both of them. Uh, I've had the bed block for a very long time and uh, I mean she's a little beat up, she's a little rough, but man does she still work really damn well. This is a really well made tool from Magpul, uh, easy 10 out of 10, comes with all the necessary accessories that I would need, it's tough. It, it just it's so goddamn convenient and I absolutely love this thing. I really really do um, I believe I've already done a video on this, but we're comparing this to the smart Smart fit AR-15 vice block from real avid uh, This construction doesn't feel as sturdy doesn't feel as robust, but it is it really is a tough tool and uh, You know and it, it, it's just like you expect a you know a product from Real Avid to kick ass and uh, surpass your expectations, and this certainly does. And it even comes with this nifty little tool to place the um, you know your your upper receiver in a, in a position uh, that makes it a lot easier to clean the barrel and stuff of your uh, AR-15 and whatnot. Um, so pros and cons of both of them. The pros of the Magpul Bev Block is that if you reverse it, you can easily, you know, uh, fit an upper receiver into this thing. Use a bulk carrier group to uh, to keep the the whole uh, setup in place. Keep it really uh, keep it really stable, so you can torque down barrel nuts and stuff using this tool. Uh, the barrel interfaces with this end of the bev block. Uh, very very interesting and uh, and then on this end the you know the the uh, the, the bulk carrier group fits into here and um, you know and it stays in place and uh, yeah I mean it's a pretty damn stable platform and then of course you have these little holes here so you can uh, you know where the usually like where the pivot pin would go uh, Magpul provides these little pins and you just you put them in there and it provides even more stability and then when you flip it on this end you have uh, you know you can place a uh, a lower receiver in there just like this uh, now one of the weaknesses here is that you got a little bit of play you got a little bit of play as opposed to the um, the smart fit uh, block this doesn't interface at all with an upper receiver this is a lower receiver tool only so one of the benefits of this specific tool is that it is really really tall uh, this is significantly taller uh, probably it's literally twice the size of the Magpul Bev block, and um, you know if you're on a smaller surface or a, a shorter surface, I apologize. This really does bring up the lower receiver, and not only that, almost right out of the box, does this eliminate any wobble whatsoever. So you are going to get a much more stable platform using this, and you certainly do want a stable platform when you have the lower receiver in this block because you do have to torque down the uh, castle nut which is uh, obviously installed at the rear of the lower receiver um, so it's a <laughs> it's a pretty damn useful thing to do and then of course installing a you know a pivot pin can be kind of uh, difficult uh, installing a um, you know the mag release uh, that could be kind of difficult too. So having it on an even more stable surface is absolutely necessary in my opinion. Um, so it, it's funny because this doesn't have any way to seat an upper receiver, stripped or otherwise. This does, and it does it really well. However, the 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 what's it called the the portion that interfaces with the lower receiver is is not as you know it's not as robust as i would like it to be there's quite a bit of play there and i think the reason why they do that is because they want the bev block to work with billet receivers and other enhanced lower receivers 
Um, so for those who don't know, billet receivers are made a little bit differently. They have really wonky designs in this sleek, you know, almost sleek, bare bones, like quasi bare bones uh, design here. It's going to be able to interact with and, and, and work with just about anything you throw at it, any any lower receiver for that matter. It, but this will too, and this one will work even better because with this, this red knob down here, you can either uh, tighten it down or you can uh, loosen it up. Or no, right here, this is a... Uh, this is tightening it up. So when you tighten it up, the, the polymer uh, pieces here, the, the gray, they expand. They expand. Um, so for example, Lantec, they, they, they have a, they, they, the way that they cut their, their, their magwells, the way that they, you know, they, they manufacture their magwells are a little bit different. And, um, you know, no matter what, whatever lower receiver you throw at this, billet, enhanced, or, you know, mil spec lower receivers, you can absolutely make it really, really snug, really, really secure with the smart fit. So in my opinion, get both. <laughs> you know, both are fantastic. I ended up buying this because uh, I wanted to, you know, see what the difference was with this versus the, the, the Magpul bed block. Um, you know, both of these tools get a glowing endorsement from me. Both of these uh, tools do have their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, I, I want to say it's almost a tie. Um, I already made a review about this. I think it's a damn near perfect tool. It really is awesome. One thing I would have liked uh, was maybe make it a little bit taller, slightly. Uh, that's really about it. Uh, one thing that I would have liked about uh, that would have that I would have loved to have changed for this specific vice is, or this specific vice block. I apologize. Is probably to make it a little bit more durable down here probably make it a little bit more robust um, but uh, you know this has a lot of high marks online it's really well reviewed product people seem to like it a lot and uh, it seems to work really well I personally have no issues with this thing I can't imagine this thing not being able to do anything that I you know don't already do already uh, I think it's, it's gonna handle anything I throw at, at throw at this um, so I have total faith in it but I just would have liked to have seen this to be uh, this to have been as tough and as robust as the Magpul bed block. That's really about it. Um, now I don't know how durable and tough the, the, this top portion is going to be. I guess time will tell because I do do a lot of builds and I use a lot of tools. Uh, so uh, again, I'll update you guys. But right now, my initial impressions of the uh, SmartFit uh, Vice block is that it's fantastic. But of course, the Magpul bed block is is still a really goddamn excellent tool, man. It really, really is. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, have you had uh, more success or failures with the Smart Fit Vice Block, or did you have more success or failures with the Magpul Bed Block? What, what is your personal favorite? What do you guys think? Uh, I always like to get people's input. Uh, you know, if you're a DIY or if you work at a gun shop, if you're, you know, some some other professional of some sort, uh, I just I love to get everybody's input. Um, and again, uh, I just I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Uh, also, the, the great thing about this is that the color of this is, uh, it's really bright. Even though like it's mostly gray, uh, it, it, it feels a lot more brighter and it, it, the color just really stands out. And of course, it's got the signature red all over it because that's what Real Avid is all about. All right, guys, that's it. Peace.